Well, hello there. My name is HW, and thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. This is meant to be a quick video to explain to people the best way that I think there is right now to organize your profiles in the Kemper. I've been getting this particular question a lot. It's been like this. HW, here's the everything pack. Uh, I just bought the everything pack. You have all these folders laid out. How do I grab your folders and get them into folders under my local library? Bad news, guys. We can't actually do this yet. Uh, this is a feature that can be added very simply. I'm going to show you what you can do which is very similar, but there's one little pain point, one little extra step you're going to have to utilize, and Kemper can fix this for this, fix this for us, and I think they will fix this. But before we do that, let's talk about Rig Manager for a second, how we got here. Rig Manager has been billed as the librarian of the Kemper. Uh, they added with 3.0 this, this whole new dimension, which is presets, and the editor. And so now Rig Manager is really where you're managing and creating rigs. It could be called Rig Central, Rig Kemper Rig Universe Software. Uh, Rig Central, Kemper, you can take that from me if you want. That That's probably a, becoming a better name for this software. Rig Manager was just to manage your rig. So the ability, so it looks like they haven't really done a ton of changes up here because, um, we're not able to just drag and drop and create new folders simply. Now, let me let me show you the how I use this software, and I'm going to show you one thing you may not have seen before. Uh, so, so check this out first. Let's use the search function. This is the best way to go about using Rig Manager currently. So let's say I want the 65 twin. I'm going to go 65 twin, and uh, whoops, I spelled twin wrong. Uh, twin, and boom. Now, I'm currently searching in all tags. Uh, and I have some options here. This is going to get me my 65 twin, but it's also going to get me other things like the Tweed twin, the Bad Kitty uh, twin. I would recommend just trying to remember profile packs. I know that might be hard for some people. Typing in here, because then even if you get it wrong, you're probably going to get the packs you're looking for and maybe a couple others. But now you're looking at a much smaller uh, section. You're looking at really all the 65 twins, which is what you were looking at. And then you can pick the profile you want. Now, I know some people might be saying, HW, I don't want to do that, or I just want to search for Tone Junkie profiles. You can limit your search by coming in here and searching for different parameters inside the rig. Hopefully that helps some. That's how I primarily find rigs. But if you do want to create folders, here's one thing you can do. Here's a local folder I was using here. Let me delete this and let me show you what you can and can't do here. Uh, so I'm going to open up my everything pack and I'm going to grab uh, the 67 Proverb. And let me drag this in. Now look, if I drag it here, there's no way to make it land where I can just create a folder. It doesn't do anything. It adds the, I can add the profiles, but I can't get a folder. So what you got to do, add folder, right? And then you got to come in here and you can drag your profiles right here. And then you have to manually name this folder. Now I had someone say, HW, I, I, that's going to take too long. Here would be my recommendation. Drag everything into local library and then slowly work up to this. Grab your favorite packs and put them over here for easy access. Now to me, guys, honestly, I would not want a hundred folders over here. That's not easier to navigate to me. That's just going to eat up all the room on your menu over here. And then you're going to eat that up more when you start to make your own presets and get into presets. And then you might even eat that up more when you start going Tone Junkie performances, Michael J Britt performances. You're, you're, you're just asking for to fill up that sidebar. So I wouldn't recommend you do that. I would recommend you keep this down to your favorites. Now, here's one thing Kemper needs to just fix, and this would solve the problem. If I highlight new folder and I come over here and I say 67 Proverb and I drop that there now, uh-oh, what just happened? Well, what just happened was we got the, actually the location of the folder. So new folder, uh, uh, tone junkie. What I basically did was add it and, and my desktop app or my, my operating system brought in everything. So here's where mine was, too much stuff. Uh, uh, everything pack, all this stuff. So what I can do is I can come in here. I can locate where my, where my, uh, where my uh, the actual name is, and I can just delete everything before that. Now that's going to speed up the process for you a bit, but hey Kemper, with one line of code, you can actually change that. And instead of having Rig Manager pull in the whole location, have it omit everything but the last entry of file location. If you do that, every folder on the Kemper, anywhere you have it stored in your operating system, should be able 
to just bring right in and I'll be able to drag in my names from profilers like Michael Britt, like Tone Junkie. So I guess this is a video almost saying, hey Kemper, if you do this, you can fix this problem pretty easily. And also, hey guys, if you do this, that's a little bit of a workaround right now, but I'm sure Kemper will fix this problem. So in the meantime, I would suggest using this area of folders for your favorites, put five, 10, 15 maybe. But the, the more you eat up here, you're gonna just eat up the space. And you're gonna just, it's gonna get really messy. Don't put 100, don't put 75. That's not gonna be easier than going in here and using the search function. Because over here, the search function doesn't work. Over here, it does work. And look, when I search, when I'm in this folder, um, you know, there we go. Maybe you want to put Michael Britt, Tone Junkie right here. You, you can do it however you want, but, um, you know, this is how I'm doing it, right? Th this is this is what I find to be easy. Favorite packs are going right here on the side, and everything else is going under local library, or if I want to search my profiler for stuff in there, I can do that. I think Kemper can fix this problem really easily, and it would be a great uh, shift in the UI. And I'll just tell you, Kemper, uh, I've been getting, I have no joke gotten 15 emails uh, in the past two weeks about this, asking this question, because we had an everything pack sale, a bunch of people, and I, it was like every, I don't know, I don't know, every so many people who bought an everything pack immediately answered back with this question. Great. Now I'm using it with rig manager. Now I'm in, and this is one of the new issues we're running into because everyone's on this great editor software. It's really stellar. I got to be honest, I've been using it more since this quarantine. And, um, I just love this, man. I don't, I build profiles and presets both ways on the Kemper, and now I build performances and presets right here, and I'm really loving this software. So that's how I'm organizing my presets. I'll do an update video as soon as Kemper fixes this one little issue, and it's not even an issue. It's just how it's set up today, and uh, they could make it just a little bit easier and a little bit uh, uh, a little bit less of a of an extra step. They could, they could streamline it for us. So I've been HW. Hope this has been helpful guys. I know it's not the perfect solution, but I think Kemper is actually going to make it happen with the perfect solution. Thanks so much. Hit like, subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. And, uh, it means a lot to me. HW out.